Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh, let me lighten you up here a little bit more. Oh, wrong way. Haha. <laughs> How you guys doing? Hopefully this is fine and you well. Busy in the shop. I got my coffee. I am enjoying my coffee right here. And this mug right here. Look at that. Oh, this mug is fitting for today's video, right? Because that's what the title shows. Man, wait till you guys see this. But first off, just trying to clean up the workbench a little bit. Ben just got done finishing a couple of knives. I don't know what he did with them. Let me see here. I'm going to put them. Uh, he put them in his box. He put them in the customer's box. Look at this. He just finished this knife right here. This, These are Jaspers. He just finished a couple of Jaspers right here. And uh, let me see here. I'll pop one out of the sheath here. If I can. Oh, look at that. It's all oiled up. Look at that. Nice Coco Bolo scales. Look at that taper tang. See? Look at that. Yes, he did these. These are his knives. Uh, he has to sharpen them now. But uh, these are his knives. I just kind of like walked him through it a little bit. But otherwise, um, he did all of this. This is like 95. Let me put you guys back down here before I destroy what he's done. Uh, these were like 95%. I got your crooked. These are like 95% him. I just had to do a couple little things here and there. See, look at that. That's another one. Oh, look at that. Let's see here. Let's get the ISO going. There we go. There we go a little bit. Come on, focus. Oh, focus. There we go. Look at that. Nice taper tang. See? Hopefully it'll focus okay for you. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. There we go. But, yeah, nice, nice. You know, of course, there's mistakes here and there, but this is literally, um, he made these two knives, like I said, 95% uh, uh, was him. Whoa, sorry about that. 95% was him on these. I just had to touch them a little bit here and there. Uh, but otherwise, yep, that was it. The last... Uh, Last couple of knives he's done like that. Um, the last knife he did for the same customer, John, uh, was probably two or three years ago. And I did about, he did about 80%, 80 to 85% of it. And I had to help him some, but Ben just turned 16. And uh, so that was, he was like 12 or 13 when he did those knives. So that was, that was pretty cool. But, and then I've got all these knives over here. I've got uh, Randy, Chris, Scott, Robert, and Lolo. That's right. I am doing the Coyote Works 1.0 for Lolo Overland. So I already finished the 2.0, the Coyote Pup. So I'm doing the 1.0. Um, and some of you guys, these all here are all one knife uh, models. I am starting. Uh, this knife down here is, uh, this one is, uh, I think this is, whose is that? Who's, whose was that again? Oh, dang it. Uh, I'm trying to think whose knife that was. Maybe that was, J I want to say it was a James or something. I'm not sure again. Where'd your bucket go? Forgot. Yes, it was James, I believe. James M. Uh, so that is, I think, your Coyote Works knife. I cannot get the steel. I'm having issues with steel again. A lot of it was this COVID stuff that's going on. So I'm having a big problem with getting uh, your guy's knife steel. Uh, so there's people that are getting pushed back. I've got a several. I got Kit, uh, Dex. Uh, James, your knife, uh, Mark and James, you guys ordered stainless steel pups. I still don't have the steel for that. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of a problem. Uh, so I'm trying just to get whoever's knives done, done. Uh, but yes, and this other knife right here is a Montana. That's going to be a special shout out for somebody who can't say anything else, but he's a really cool guy, really nice guy. We've been talking all year, uh, since last year, we were supposed to get together actually at the beginning of this year on our trip in May and it ended up not happening because everything got shut down. So it was kind of a bummer, but we've been talking for a while. I've actually followed his YouTube channel for several years now and I've always enjoyed the channel. I've always enjoyed the information he put out, very honest reviews, not flashy, none of this you know, crazy editing and stuff like that. Just a really down to earth guy. We've built up a friendship. I'm, I'm happy to call him a friend and that is his knife, but you gotta wait more for that. But you didn't come for that, did you? No, you didn't. You came because of this. These just came. I did not know these were coming. Um, Jeremy, shame on you. You tricked me. Last time I heard, there was only a couple of them available. And that was it. And I was like, ah, whatever. You know, I can't be pa You got to be patient. Just can't push things. Sometimes things just aren't meant to be. But boy, when FedEx called me, they pulled up to the gate. And they called me and said, hey, we got something for you. Can we come on in? I'm like, okay. And look what rolled up. So look at that. Oh, yes. Those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. Those are Icon Vehicle Dynamic wheels. The rebound. Oh, 
I haven't even, I was just starting to open the box up and Ben came down and says, Dad, I said, I know, he go, I didn't know they were coming. I didn't know these were coming here. I didn't think actually it was going to come through because of the fact with COVID-19 and everything that was going on. Some people are busy, some people aren't, but those companies are busy because they had to change their staffing and change all the way they did stuff. Look at that, those are beautiful. So I'm gonna set you guys down. Let's take a look at what these wheels look like, shall we? Okay, so as I said before, guys, these are the Icon Vehicle Dynamics. These are rebounds. Now, the kicker is, is um, I got rebounds because of the fact that rebound is the only model right now available for Nissan Titan, second generation, in 18 inches. That's right. Uh, this is the only wheel that will fit the Nissan Titan with 18 inches. A lot of guys are converting over to a 17 inch wheel. Now, hindsight being what it is, should I have done that? Maybe. But the caveat is, as you guys know, I don't do everything with a ton of money and stuff. I do them baby steps. Last year, as you guys remember, I did a video a while back. Ben and I went out and we did some trails and we ended up uh, staying over at my buddy uh, Cody and Taylor's over in Eastern Washington because we had a bunch of problems. One of them was flat tires. Well, we had the all season tires on the truck and we tried to do some of the gravel roads and such and we ended up blowing a tire, swapped it over, had a big issue. When I got back, I immediately went and I got uh, General Grabbers and I got those ATXs and I did a video on those. I really like them, they've been working great. They did really well, especially at the Coyote Works Overland Rally and the last couple of trips I've been doing since with Lolo Overland and just with the family. The, X, uh, the ATXs have been working great. But the problem is, is when I got those, I got those to fit the original factory 18 inch wheels that were on trip. So it would have been easier just to get any style wheel in 17 inch that would have fit the Nissan Titan. But I wanted to stay with the 18 inches because I just got brand new tires. I mean, I, I only have maybe 10, 15, oh, maybe about 15,000 miles on this tire, not even. No, I probably got less than that. I got about eight or 10,000 miles on these tires. And they're good for like 50 or 60,000 miles. So why try to get rid of wheels and the tires all at the same time and stuff? Keep the tires, just get different wheels. So when I reached out, when I actually met Jeremy, it was at the Nissan event in Provo, Utah, uh, not Provo, uh, uh, Park City, Utah, uh, when I met him and we got to talking. And uh, if you guys remember, I might've did a video on some knife pins. So there's gonna be a lot more coming out with Icon, you can only imagine. Uh, but in the meantime, Jeremy hooked me up with these rims, uh, these wheels, and uh, super stoked. So these are the rebounds. <clears throat> now, as you see, this is the first time I'm opening one to see it, and I am super excited to see what these look like. Oh, let's see here. If we flip this around, oh, this is the back side of it. Okay, here we go. Back side. Quality inspection. Pass if J2, so okay, quality inspection was good. But look at this, oh, they even got a little, oh, it's got like a little cover here, look at this. It's like plastic. Oh, drum roll, is that what we should be doing? Is she doing a drum roll here? <laughs> Boom, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that wheel. Oh, look at that, look, it's even Dutch approved. <laughs> look at those, hopefully that's gonna come out okay. Hopefully the video, I'm doing this outside and and these are black wheels. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Those are gorgeous wheels. So that is awesome. So big shout out to Jeremy over at Icon Vehicle Dynamics. Big shout out to Icon themselves. I've been following them guys for quite a while. Um, super excited to get these on because now the next trip is, is the next step is, is getting these on trip. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a couple of calls. I'm gonna to try to get some information, make an appointment, and then the next thing is, it's getting these wheels put on because I am super excited. So I'll be right back. Hey gang, how you doing? Yes, we are back. It's a different day, of course. I had to make an appointment at Advantage Nissan. It's the go-to place for my Nissan Titan. Uh, guys, gals over there really take good care of me and today is gonna be no exception. So I am gonna head over there. I'm not gonna bore you with a bunch of babble. I'm gonna show up at Nissan and we're gonna get these tires changed out, the rims changed out, uh, tires rotated, and I figured I'm there, I'm gonna get an oil change. So, uh, ah, let's see how it goes.
Look at that gang. Oh, so happy. Was so excited. First and foremost, big shout out again to Jeremy and Icon Vehicle Dynamics, as well as to Advantage Nissan, Chris, Daryl, Becca, everybody that got me behind the scenes, helped me out with stuff. Super excited. Thank you very much. But boy, trip is looking handsome. Yes, it is a different day again. This is day three. Uh, got home, got caught up, did some video, did some B-roll footage and such. Then I was whooped. It was a long day. Uh, so I just figured I'll take my time and come back out and do a video a couple of days later. So this is actually like the fourth or fifth day. So, uh, but hey, I'm gonna let me sit you guys down here for a second. Okay, I think that might be all right. So again, it was something I was super excited about everything. Really, really pleased with the look of the wheels and how they feel, the fit, the finish, really happy with that. Uh, a few things to take away from all this. First is, again, if I might have mentioned it before, these are 18 inch wheels. These are the first 18 inch wheels that are offered for the, the Nissan Titans. Many people have had Nissan Titans and put icons on them, uh, especially maybe something like the SEMA truck or something, but those were 17 inch wheels. Now again, I might have talked about it in a, uh, previously when I did the intro and all this is the reason why I went with 18s is because I already had the General, uh, General Grabber ATXs. They're only a few months old. I bought them back in I think August or September. So they're about eight or nine months old at the making of this video right now here in 2020. And I did not want to have to sell the tire and the factory wheel and buy a brand new tire just to put on the icons. I thought the 18 inch versus 17 inch would have been fine. And I was looking around for an 18 inch wheel and I had um, contacted a few people and went out with a couple folks and spoke with them about uh, various wheel sizes. Um, these have a standard offset. There is nothing uh, pushed out like a negative 12, a number 16, 18, anything like that. These are whatever Icon offers. Again, the 18 inch in rebound is the only one that Icon is offering right now. Um, as to offset, I really was liking the idea of maybe having a little bit wider stance like a, a, an, a Raptor, an F-150 Raptor or something. But I was really hesitant about it because not being uh, familiar with the wheels and what that offset actually meant. Now, my buddy Mike over at Off Road Warehouse was really patient with me and helped me kind of uh, learn a little bit about offset. But still, I was kind of on the fence with that. Um, and him and Josh and a couple other people were actually reaching out to me and, and offering to help me and get some wheels and everything. But I was really hesitant about that, number one. Number two is a lot of the wheels I was looking at from other companies, they are real heavy. Uh, the factory wheels on a Nissan Titan are around 29 or 30 pounds. Uh, these rebounds are about 32 pounds, I think, 33 pounds. So I'm not that high over the factory rating but many manufacturers actually had uh, wheels that were up to 44 pounds. Now, I'm not a very smart person when it comes to mechanic stuff and in the vehicles and all that kind of thing, but I really knew that I wasn't comfortable with putting a wheel on my truck that was, you know, six, eight, 10, 12 pounds heavier than what I already had. I did not want anything to do with that. I knew that would probably cause issues in the long run. Uh, so I stayed away from a lot of those wheels. Um, one of the other things I learned, if you're gonna go into these uh, rebounds, uh, one of the things everybody wants to be aware of, because it's going to probably be with any wheel that you get, and that is, like me, I have a spare tire that mounts underneath the bed of my truck, like a lot of guys with pickup trucks do. Um, I put my spare tire underneath there, I run a cable lock under, it's all good to go, I'm secure. Well, that chain and that little part that drops through the center of your wheel, the hub section of your wheel, on the factory wheel, it's three inches, whether it was the factory uh, uh, aluminum wheels or the steel wheel that I actually had with Trip that the factory gave me, that hub opening is three inches. And that is where that little connector or that little thing drops in there. And then as you crank and the chain lifts your tire back up again, well, that's three inch opening. Icons are four inches, so that won't work on the new tire because I actually had a Icon wheel for my spare. The reason why I did that was because at some point I was hoping to do a tire swing on the back of Trip. There's a couple of companies that make them. I am not uh, settled on any one particular company right now. I do 
and leaning a little bit towards one over the other, but again, it's all funds. It's all financing and timing at this point. But until then, my spare tire has to mount underneath the bed of the pickup truck, but it can't do that now because the hub opening is too big. So I have to turn around, I have to try to fabricate something, maybe tack weld it on there, a couple of little ears or something like that, or get a, a, a round piece of metal and drill out the center so it can fit in there and, and be expanded because I need, um, I need something that's gonna be four and a half inches or something like that, you know, four and a half, five inches round to be able to grab the wheel and lift it back up underneath the trip. So, so be aware of those kind of things right there. Uh, but again, I have, I am super ecstatic with these. Again, I love the look, I love the fit, I love the feel. The guys over at Advantage Nissan, Daryl especially, he was the one that did the tires on trip, and you saw the truck back in there, and we put the wheels on, really nice look. It's a nice eye catcher. So again, thank you to Jeremy, and thank you to v uh, Icon for hooking me up with these. I do appreciate it. And remember guys, a few uh, months back, I did a video on knife pins, and there was one pin in there in particular that uh, you might remember, and that is Icon's. So uh, keep an eye out for a lot more stuff coming out between CKNA Fatool and Icon Vehicle Dynamics. I am looking forward to building that relationship a lot more. So uh, until then, guys, I do appreciate it. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Keep me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. Everything does help. The, the buying of the swag, the shirts, the hats, the mugs, it, the patches, all of that helps. Thank you very much. As you guys know, I got rid of Patreon. So everything I do to run this channel and, and run CK Knife and Tool as a business is both through YouTube, through the swag sales and the patches and the hats and stuff like that, as well as my knives. Uh, so again, I do appreciate it to everybody that's been supporting me these last few years. So again, you take it easy, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.